hi guys i hope you have tried the assignment 20 which i have given in the in the previous video if you were if you weren't able to do it so let's do it uh, from the beginning let's start with step one i'll have to create class scores so i'll create class scores and now what i want to do is i'll have to give a different attribute so where i give my attributes in i give it in my init method right so double underscore init double underscore then self then the attributes so my let's say reservoir score is my second and uh, it's let's say drilling is drilling score represents by drill and then pro represents my score in the production subject now if i want to call them so i'll have to create uh, instance variable so my instance variable will be self dot let's say reservoir whenever i call this reservoir underscore score it gives me the score of reservoir that is res if i call it as a drilling underscore score it gives me the marks of drilling that is drill if i go for self dot po production underscore score it gives me p r o d actually i have created these a long instance variables but in general, uh, because I'll have to use them only, right? I'll, whenever I need this res reservoir marks, I'll have to call this uh, whole instance variables. So you can uh, you can just use the smaller instance variables as well. This is not a good practice to use uh, uh, means long instance variables. But I have uh, made it already, so don't worry about it right now. So I have created the class now. Now I have to define methods, right? Just exit this, then you'll write your method name what your method name is average let's say it average it takes me average of all the right so i have defined here my method name then self as i've told in the previous video we use always self in my method then what it want to return is it will return me the average of right so so res plus drill plus products prod divided by three will be the my average right but what res is equivalent to this is equivalent to this whole thing so I'll just copy this. Plus drill, which is representing this one. Plus prod, that is nothing but this. Right, what I want to do is I want to take average of all of them. So this will give me the average. Now uh, I need to define another method which takes the maximum right so i'll let's say maximum and now if i do for self and then i can use here a max function so i can simply write max and then i'll write all the values so my all the values are this i just copy all this and i'll remove the plus sign just replace the plus sign with the comma so i have uh, so this is how it will select the maximum now let's create an object let's say i have two candidates my first candidate is mohit uh, my class name is scores and he scores uh, 75 in reservoir uh, 85 in my uh, drilling and in production he scores 90 okay and my another candidate shashan that is my this second object he scores 78 in reservoir and let's say he scores uh, 96 in drilling and he scores 48 in production now let's say i want to calculate the average of both of the candidates so what i can simply do is my object that is mohit dot you can use simply your method average avg it will give me the average marks of mohit and my average marks of shashank will be correct so you can understood here by so mohit has a higher average than shashank now if i want to calculate maximum marks of both of the candidates you can go for mohit dot maximum method and write this so mohit has the maximum 90 which is correct right and if i go for shashank you see shashank has the highest 96 so this is correct so this is how uh, this works this is this is in this example we see that uh, we uh, we, ca we can also create maxim uh, we can also create multiple methods inside a single class so i hope you have understood it uh, the concept of class object and uh, these methods very well 
so i'll stop the video here and uh, thank you for joining i'll see you in the next lecture